I spent 100 days in factorial space age. Can I keep surviving by wiping out spiders with a tank, building a defensive wall, and launching a ship into space? I'm playing on the default settings. Welcome back to 100 days to in factorial space age. So where we last left off, we got up the whole base here with trains and everything. As you can see, got oil trains as well. Oh, we can see all of the surfaces here. Space map. Oh my goodness. This is new. Now this is the one you start on. Volcanus. Gleba, Fulgora, Aquilo, Shattered Planet, Solar System Edge. We'll start right up where we were. We need to get copper. We have almost no copper now, so we need to get some more copper trains. We have 3.1 million and 3 million here, so let's go. Almost done here with the furnace set up, so then we can start on the trains. I want to get some personal robots as well. We can do that very soon. We'll probably have to move all of these coal tracks. That's going to be annoying. Anyways, this is done, so the trains. You know what? I'm just going to keep it over here. Bunch of space to work with. Thank goodness I can use blueprints. Something like this for now. How do I flip things horizontally? Okay, flip vertically. Blueprint with rail signals. Okay, that will not work. I just do it manually then. Oh damn, perfect. We're almost done. And of course, something is broken. Let's fix it all up. Yeah, more problems as always. I think we fixed it once again. Fixing trains is the best way to go. Done with so much research. Keep on going. A tank. That will be great. Also need more stone. Stone is close to the copper. All of this iron has almost been depleted. We can build railway tracks over it. Some biters obstructing the copper. Train network still going on. This is taking quite a lot of time. Anyways, copper finally. Mine this all out. Look how much we've researched here, but we still have a long way to go. All the blue sign stuff will be researched. Okay, copper. We took up the power and then we're done. Here we go. Power. Need a radar. Yep, it's working perfectly. Now then, trains. So these are the settings we're going for. Yep, heading out, but trains are stuck for some reason. Somehow working again, so let's see. Copper trains. Ran out of fuel. Biters attacking up there. A lot of these pesky creatures. What biters are attacking up north? Get some turrets. And clear the nests. I see a big biter here. That is rare. But they're all dead. And the trains are messed up again. I don't know what to do. Okay, this should not be stuck right here. Go back, go back. I, I hate these trains. How do I do this? I need to research. I have no idea why the trains here aren't working. This should be working. Why isn't this train going now? It's it's completely free. And why aren't you going? It's completely free because of this thing. Hmm. Yeah, traffic signal here, maybe. This should work. Hmm, now it works. And now it's stuck. And now it works. <laughs> What is going on here? <laughs> what was that? I love this game. Anyways, it's all working again. I'm getting a better understanding. Let me know if uh, this looks good. I think it looks good. Now the railway signals. Anyways, where were we? Copper. Hook up the copper and then head on to the next step. And here we go. All done. Hook up the power. And this is wonderful. Now we need to hook up the copper from the smelteries to the green circuits. And I want one dedicated copper lane into the green circuits, which is right here. So you go in here, and you go right in here. There we go, more green circuits incoming. Yeah, so much, so much. Now we just need stone, and we're done with the trains for now. Pollution is not looking too good. The good thing is we have like an island, kind of. We only need to defend, well, if we take out these spiders, we barely have to defend the west and north. Need landfill here, I want this. Free 0.4 million stone. The trains are working perfectly now for like an hour. We're barely researching because we have no more stone. No more stone, no more walls, no more military science. Well then, let's hook all of this up. Perfect. We need to take care of these insects over here. A lot of pollution here. We're going to need more turrets. Yeah, we're 
we're doing it. Oh no, I might die. Oh my goodness, help, help. Oi, oi, oi. Almost dead. Our crude oil storage is filled to the brim. Not a lot of pollution from the oil mining. Now then, copy blueprints. Right here is the stone drop-off. I need to get robots after this, but this took quite some time. Because, you know, we needed to get more natural resources. But once that is out of the way, we're ready to progress. Uh, biters attacking. Interesting. They <laughs> bypassed the turrets. I have to clear out all of these hives. Die, you pesky insect. The pollution is starting. Starting to get to the trees. This water is turning green. Okay, everything is finally up. It is time to send these trains. Perfect. Stone is working. Just fine. Finally, the trains are working for once. So then stone, the flow of resources is back on track. Oh then, let's work on everything. Construction robots and purple science, production science packs and utility science packs. Okay, electric engine units, lubricant engine units, electronic circuits. What do I need for power arms? Armor. Electric engine units. Okay, so we will set up the robots now. I think we'll have that next to the processing units here. Okay, I think we're ready. Electric engine units. These will be great. Let's see your lube. I love lubricant. We have way too much petroleum now. We need to use up more oil. How about solid fuel for the trains? Here we go. This should be good. Now done. With that done, what's next? Logistic robots, construction robots, flying robot frame. Where can I make that? That. I need batteries. batteries. The morning's gone. gone. You can't, can't go, go on. on. Make batteries. I need sulfuric acid, copper, and iron. Now then, batteries. So now we can make some flying robot frames. 30 electric engine units. That's way more than enough for power armor. Let's see here. I just need the processing units and then I can manually craft it. Here we go. Here we go. Flying robot frame. What do we want? Construction and logistic robots. I will also need some of these ports. Robo ports. That is quite expensive. Hey, robots. Look at them. I want some of them. Power armor as well. Wear that. Larger inventory. Alt Y. Great discharge defense remote. What? So let's see here. That's not a lot of equipment grid capacity, but it will do. What do I need now? Personal robo port. Exoskeleton. Make all of this night vision. Exoskeleton. That will be very nice. And now got the robo ports. All the robots will go into here. It takes quite a while to craft out these flying robot frames. Hold well on, what do we do with these robots? Equipment grid, personal batteries, night vision. I'll need more robo ports, so automate that at the mall. We can automate that right here. Pretty easy. Oh, I think I need more red circuits. Exoskeleton. That feels very nice. Energy is looking alright, but I might need more portable solar panels. Okay, personal robo ports. Let's see red circuits and it still looks all right too much on the left lane i need to fix that real quick like this and oh, now this is better there we go so now that i have robots they will build for me no nope. robots build hmm, no power no energy robo ports coming in nicely need some storage chests hmm, it's actually working oh we have some power let's see is this a good equipment grid electricity there you can see it the exoskeleton is not at its full capacity. Anyways, doesn't matter. We look great. And now it should build. There we go. Look at those creatures. With two robo ports, I can support 20 of these tiny little creatures. Anyways, feels like I need more red circuits. We should focus on that. All of this is in the way. All the coal. And destruction planner. We can finally do this. Perfect. No more carpal tunnel. The exoskeleton has to go. I need to reorganize this again. Ooh, automated cleanup. The construct a hundred objects with the construction robots. Good. Look at that. Automated construction at last. You can see works just fine. Yep. It is all working. Just a little bit more. Automated construction. Construct a hundred machines using robots. But that consumes a lot of power. Nothing else to research. We need 
purple science. Another thing we can do is make an upgrade planner. Upgrade all of the belts. Those are a lot of circuits. We should have a lot of robo ports. It's already filled up to the brim. Ay, ay, ay. The whole base I want filled with robo ports. Might need more power on. And now we have a few connected robo ports. Yes, like that. We get some passive provider chests. And let's say I want the uh, belts. 800 red belts. And I should get that now. Yeah, look at that. The logistic robots are coming. They're still so slow, these robots. You've got a package. Yeah, supply the character by logistic robot. And yeah, they are too slow for now. So just delete this and deconstruct some more of the base. Now the next step, purple science. Also, no cliff explosives. Cliff explosives. Yeah, this is weird. I cannot make it on this planet, I think. Well, not too bad. Production science packs. Rails, electric furnace, productivity module. Productivity module, electronic and advanced circuits. Electric furnace, steel plate, advanced circuits, stone brick. Yeah, let's get going. Now then, we have this set up here for the whole thing. Electric furnaces, they should all be working. Yes, it is soon working. And I forgot inserters right here. Come on, please work. There we go. Purple science. Production science packs. Might need more modules. Expand. And now then, effect transmission beacons. Logistics 3. Automation 3. Let's just get all of this. And then we need to get... What is this? Utility science packs. I think I need more rails. That's a problem. You need 30 rails for one science pack. I need more. Research with production. Yes. More rails coming in. Everything is looking good. Pollution is still all right. We're researching so fast. Keep on going with more research. Do I need more steel? Steel is running a little bit low now. Okay. What is happening here? Why isn't coal getting through there? Why are the green circuits here? There we go. I'm probably going to have to get more steel. We're going to need more power soon, as you can see. More steam engines. Look at the horde. What the hell is this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they can help with construction. All right, I can just copy things over when I want to construct. Oh, yeah. Let's see this with the bots. If we copy all of this over right here and here, what will happen then? Circuit version 2 will produce 10k advanced circuits per hour. Satisfaction, as you can see with the robo ports. I will need more of these things. Here we go. Everything is looking great again. Why the hell are there green circuits everywhere? What the... <laughs> <laughs> Why are they green? Ah, now I see what the issue is. We have just polluted our entire system with green circuits. Okay, that is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is very funny. Look, it's everywhere. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that is a very big issue. Oh my, this is going to take such a long time to clean up. Wait, is that why power is? <laughs> no way. Oh my goodness, look at that. Ah, oh, the green circuits have invaded Factorial. Literally everywhere. Anyways, now it should be nice and clean. Okay, I'm going to be smart about this. I'm just going to place down some chests and then have them only filter green circuits and that will eventually clean it up. A bit annoying, but not the end of the world. Use filters and the green circuits. We're also running low on coal once again. 1.5 million, but barely mining. Ah, uh, that's because of the electricity. Okay, it will get better over time. Purple science is looking good. These green circuits are everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to need more coal, so there's some nearby. I think we can belt it. Now this is a little bit of coal, maybe two lanes. I think I'm going to need one more train, because right now we're splitting four lanes into eight. Or is it because of electricity? Hmm. Well, now power's back up. Iron Throne 2 produced 200k iron plates per hour. Done with all the research, so keep on going. Okay, this will be quite easy. Now then, place this thing right here. Come on, bots, help. Ooh, biters. A huge horde. Oh my goodness. My goddamn car. Yeah, I just grenade these things. Jesus, those things. Where did they come from? The north? Done researching so much. Let's wait until we have yellow science. I need to upgrade the furnaces here as well. Something like this. 
Look at that. So satisfying. Anyways, let's see if this works. Tungsten belt. There is a belt faster than express transport belts. Well then, steel, finally. Go, 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 steel trains. Assemble. I'm going to have to upgrade the belts here. That will be useful. Okay, we have a problem here. We need more parking slots here for the trains. But where exactly is the space? Buyers attacking my oil. Okay, for now, I'm just going to remove two trains of each. So instead of four trains picking up iron ore, there will be two. And the same for steel. Okay, here we go. Now it should work. I could just make another parking over here. That could be big enough. Did they die? Where the hell did they go? Oh, no, they're still here. Oh, they've expanded. The biters have expanded. More biters. Jeez, I need to take care of this nest. These damn biters. Come on, biters. No, 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 not my car. Damn, these things are tough. Oh well, they're all dead. Now then, let's see if this will work. Okay, more storage, more space, parking lots. Okay, all the issues have been worked out. This is our current train system. Okay, let's work on yellow science. Base science you don't get for launching the ship anymore. Okay, what I'm going to do is name both of these stations here for iron, iron smelting, and then enable train limit of four. And this should work quite fine. Yes, it's working. So hopefully this should be more accurate when one is empty. It will head there. Because, you know, steel and iron plates, they use iron ore same thing okay yellow science utility science packs processing units we already have flying robot frame we already kind of have also need low density structures copper steel plastic bars first step low density structures yes this is looking good hmm, i did something wrong here they cannot reach steel and now what to do i think now then how about this design <laughs> uh, it will work now then next step we actually only need flying robot frame frames. I need so much steel. I uh, will have to expand upon this. What is this? Computer H1. Produce 500 processing units per hour. I don't think we're getting enough there. We're going to have to make a whole lane there. Put it off an entire lane? No, I think I know why. It's an illusion because we have regular transport belts. Here we go. Now it's working. Produce 1000 processing units per hour. Let's see here. What do we have going on here? A lot of planning, but it is soon done. Hook up all of the power, and we should have a functioning system. If my creation works, I wanted 12 of these per minute. Or actually, 12 of these per 21 seconds. Oh, I forgot the lubricant. Cannot forget the lube, you know. And it has activated. Let's see if this will work. Yes, we got electric engine units. So let's research. Would like faster robots, but power armor MK2. Military 4. Let's get this power armor. Yes, queue up a lot more research. Mm, it is working slowly but surely. Looks like I'll need more green circuits. Yes, quickly expand upon that then. Here we go. Yes, like this. More green circuits as well. Research with utility. No way. <laughs> it's actually working. It is all working. Well then, we're soon done here, so I think it's soon time to launch. So much research. Green circuits for days. Everything is going well. The productivity, actually. Now, 10 hours, 50 hours. That's really shut up. Copper cables. Power is still good on... Uh, never mind. It's not good. Let's improve it. Power armor mark 2. We need this. Worker robot speed is very important, everyone. Here we go. 160 steam engines. 87 megawatts. How much do nuclear reactors give out? Mm, doesn't say, but steam turbines output 5.82. Steam engines output a lot less, I think. Okay. Yeah, let me make this proper thing. Power Armor MK2. Need speed modules. Worker robot speed level 5. Oh, I can see, again, science production information. Science per minute, 68. Went up to 110. But now we're done with all of the research. Could do the rest of it. Let's do this one and this one. Assembling machine 3. Hmm, this could be very useful. Here we go. Assembling machine 3. You can even see the remaining time estimate. That is very nice.
nice anyways there it is assembling machine theory bacons i mean beacons here are also good this could be used for for the labs let's place down two of those and in some speed modules the robots are really fast now but we're soon done with worker robot speed five it's also time to kill some biters make a tank that is quite cheap i want explosive stone sulfur coal water uh oh biters attacking it's a tiny few of them Look how fast the robots are now. With explosives, we're going to make explosive can shells. And I also want flamethrower ammo. And we're done with all of the research. Let's see how fast the robots are now. Very fast. Anyways, hook this all up. And yeah, the tank will demolish with this. All the resources that I want is getting delivered to me by the robots. Anyways, explosive can shells. Let's make this tank. And I can also make power armor mark two. Yeah, as I say, say that biters. I can make one tank, but also like laser defense, personal laser defense. More biters attacking. I need to wipe out this nest. These bots are so handy, repairing and replacing. Here we go, power armor mark two. We can make it. Let's simply equip this thing. Here we go, that looks better. Okay, biters, I think we're ready. We have almost a thousand explosive shells. Time to bulk the tank and start tanking. This is the ammo that we want. Flamethrower ammo. It is time. Here we go, all hell on board. <laughs> They don't even stand a chance. Next weapon, let's try out the flamethrower. That's also quite nice. Uh, not too good, honestly, but let's see. I yeah, know the shotgun shell, I mean the tank shells here, explosive shells are great. We are tanking. So I just want to clear out the perimeter here, you know, all of these hives. Look at the pollution now. The trains are still doing good. We fixed it. Flamethrower is good for shooting things in your back, on your back. This is a mass weapon of destruction. Burn down the forest in front of us to clear a path. Why do you need to build a wall when the enemies are dead? This one is a bit larger. Ah, oh, damn rock. This is so satisfying. Uh oh, no more fuel. Let's put some more coal. Shoot up the hill. Run, forest, run. Destroy a hundred trees by impact. And the tank is tanking all of these trees. And the biters. We're almost done. This is the last one. And we're done. Yeah, I think this is good enough for now. Okay, biters are gone. As you can see, now it's time for the rocket ship. Rocket silo. A thousand steel plates. Crossing units, electric engine units, pipes, and concrete. All I need is the concrete. One iron ore, five stone bricks, and water. Okay, concrete. Now for the rocket silo. Now let's just do it manually. Now then, rocket silo, here it comes. Okay, rocket silo, what do we do with you? Let's see here. Okay, this is very interesting. Rocket inventory. Processing units, low density structures, rocket fuel. Oh, well, no time to waste. One more exoskeleton so we move faster. 90% movement speed bonus. No more slow jogging around. Anyways, rocket silo. Yes, we'll have you down here. Rocket fuel. How do we make that? We need solid fuel and light oil. We have a bunch of petroleum here, so this should work. 
rocket fuel, low density, and we got blue circuits, of course, over here. Now then, let's start this whole operation up. Here we go, it's all working. Get some productivity modules. Only plus four productivity. Not sure if that's really worth it. Now then, it's finally time. Now we have everything that we need. Rocket parts incoming. It's actually happening. Okay, 52% rocket inventory. I guess I should get some space platform. Space platform starter pack. Let's see what this will do. Cargo landing pad. Oh my goodness. Is it launching? Okay, that is sick. But we aren't launching yet. Can't travel to space with items in the inventory. Trash slots or ammo slots. Only <laughs> Wait, what? Only armor and guns are allowed. Okay, I need to do this real quick. It is time for space, everyone. Cargo landing pad. What else? So can I enter this rocket? No. And this is the final grid here for the power armor mark two. A lot of solar panels and a lot of stuff. Okay, we can make this thing. Let's see here. Space platform starter pack. Let's see here. Cargo landing pad. Here we go. Space platform starter pack. Cargo wait, I cannot have both. Space platform starter pack is all that's needed. Create a new space platform so I can launch it without. But I think we're going to go in here. But I need to set all of this in an inventory. All of my items. So just like this and this and, and this. Okay, no ammo slots as well. There is no target platform. Okay, I need to create a new space platform. So we'll do that now. Okay, let's do it. New space platform. So uh, what, what happens now? Wait, I don't get it. New space platform. Platform name Ace Platform One. How about that? Oh my goodness, it's launching. We have done it. Oi, 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 and the new rocket is incoming. Steam all the way. Launch a rocket to space without building any solar panels. Laser turrets. Logistic network. Smoke me a kipper. Reach for the stars. Oh my goodness. Asteroid collector crusher. What the? What the? Now I can travel to space. All right, let me see this. Oi, oi, oi. Look at that bad boy. Okay, that looks great. We just head there then. This time, cargo landing pad. What do we do? Oh, we can see everything here in space. Base. Should I send up a, uh, what is it? Asteroid collector crusher. Let's try this. Got the crusher and asteroid collector. So bring that to space right there. I don't know what else to bring actually. I think that's what we'll have to do. So let's go. Travel to space. Space platform one. And uh, yeah, launch the damn rocket, please. Yes, look at us. We're in there. Jesus, wait, where, where are we? Where the hell are we? Land on planets? No, no, I want to, want to walk on this thing. How do I do this? I have no idea what to do. Maybe if I try to build something? How about that? Oh, it actually works. Huh? Look at that. That it's using up the space platform. So how do I leave this thing? Maybe I'm not supposed to leave the thing. I also launched some items up here. Where are they? Wait, I can place down stuff. I am so confused. I got some stuff up here now. Oh, I can place down this thing. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Do we just go back home then? Let's land on planet. Okay, goodbye. That was weird. How do we actually do that? Hmm, the things are still in here. Okay, maybe I have to launch this into space, not travel to space. Let's see here. Orbital logistics. Uh... Okay, so I guess you cannot exit the thing right there. That looks interesting. I'll launch some of the space platforms. Okay, what happens if we launch it now? Does that do anything? Let's see here. Ah, it's got the items. Look! Technology space science pack research. Now that is interesting. I accidentally sent it back. Okay, I should have done 
this. Space science packs. We can do this now. Space platform thrusters. Okay, make a crusher. There we go. I need power. This will have to make some solar panels. Now I think I'm starting to understand it better. You send resources up there and you can build from here. Oh look, the resources we sent back is next to the ship here. Solar panels will automate that at the mall. This will work perfect in space. Got for space platforms. Send that there. But the power is the most important. So I need some power poles. Just get a few of those. Bunch of solar panels. We're starting to run a little bit dry on copper. Not enough miners mining, so we have some more copper down here. Let's see your solar panels. Get a few of those. Maybe 10. Accumulators could be useful. Oh, wait, you don't need accumulators in space, right? Because there's always the sun. Uh, but they will still be useful down here on Earth or Nalvis. I cannot survive on steam power forever. But this is what we're sending into space now. Launch logistic requests. Why can I not? Okay, it's launching. Let's see here. What requests do I want? Space platform. It should be up here. Yeah. So now what I want to do is actually remove this. And it's back there. Okay. I want to place down some more space platforms. Maybe for now around here. To actually remove some of that. And to remove some of this. And now you spilled right here. More space on one side. And now we can make the asteroid collector right here. On some solar panels. About one, two, three. Start producing electric power by solar panels, of course. No, but you don't need electric poles, so that's good. Anyways, look at that. It's actually working. Carbonic asteroid chunk. How about a crusher? Do I need an inserter for this? Let's see. I want you to crush metallic asteroid asteroid chunk and get iron ore it looks like we need inserters make space science packs we need carbon and ice and what you need to do for that ice you get from some asteroids and carbon from another asteroid i just need to set this up inserters send that now i see how it works so let's say i want to build an inserter here then it will automatically request that on this rocket one ton and it's launching hmm. and as you can see it got built oh, Oh, it's actually working. Look at that. But I want the carbon. Oh, it automatically goes into the rocket. Okay, now I need some belts. So if I trash this, it will come back to Earth, as you can see. I need to get space science so I can discover planet discovery Gleba. That will be interesting. I think it's best if I manufacture the space science packs over there in space and send it back home, maybe. It's actually all working. No more green circuits. I need to worry about space later. I need to get more copper. I also get iron up there. I would like to smelt that down with some electric furnaces. This is interesting. We can remove trash by ascending it into space. Okay, we're launching the final components to space. So I think I have a blueprint. Uh, let's see if this will work. You do that, you do that, and you do this. Barely any power. Need more solar panels now. We're smelting iron. Now we can craft whatever we want. For now, just space science packs. Let's see here. There we go. Space science packs. We've done it. Okay, copper. I need copper. I need to make this way bigger. Here we go. Space science packs. So can I like automatically send this down to Earth? I way to do something like this. Space science packs. Put that to zero. Ah, it's actually working. <laughs> going to land right around here. Uh oh, where did it go? Where is it going? It should be ending up on Earth. I do not see it anywhere. Okay, there there they are. They're landing everywhere. I just need some requester chests. I need to research that. Where is it? We go. Logistic systems. Requester chests. As now I have to manually add it in. Space science packs. They're landing like meteorites. Anyways, requester chests. It's all working. Oh, I can set filters to this thing. The asteroid collector I had this whole system when it wasn't necessary. More copper, finally. Okay, let's do this. And there we go. All the trains are working. Now we can go back to space. Also, a bunch of rockets here. Look. Anyways, copper is not an issue anymore. I think I have all the science that I need. Yeah. So then we have over five, four hundred space science. We just need to automate this further. And then after this, we can research space thrusters. A lot more space now. Would like to reconfigure all of this. Logistic system finished. Research a technology using space science packs. What I will need are space platform thrusters. And then we can go to planet 
to discover if Fulgora, Gleba, or Volcanus. I want a requester chest right here. And I want space science packs. See if it will work. Just need to finish all of this up. Here we go. This is much better. More platforms need to expand. Spiders. Spiders attacking. From where? What the? Where the hell did they come from? What the? Who knows where they came from? Let's see here. So why isn't this working? I requested space science. Oh wait, maybe I need a cargo landing pad. Here we go. This should work. Place it right here. I think it should work. More biters. From where? Oh, from this west? Ah, oh, these damn biters. I need to deal with them. Time to start tanking. That was quick. So I launched something. Okay, now it's working. That's nice. More biters attacking. From where? Oh my goodness, I'm missing something. Look at that. Space science. And robots are delivering it to the requester. Good. I am clearly missing something. Where are those spiders coming from? That's the only question. Hey, the radar didn't pick this up, but there's a whole new site here. I guess the biters have expanded back. And they're attacking again, these damn biters. They can all die. We need some more turrets everywhere. Let's see here, kill them all. Actually, to save space, I could do all the space science back at home. I think that's what we're going to do. This will make sure we have enough space for other stuff. Lots of space platforms coming in. I want to expand even more. Okay, all of the asteroids are here. Are you kidding me? I cannot actually do this. I cannot build the crusher on the ground here. That isn't a problem. I'll just have the crusher up in space then. Then you send that home. Everything is automated now. This is so satisfying. I always run into issues. Space science packs cannot be crafted on the surface because the gravity is too high. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this should work. Okay, I think we just wait now. Taking a long time to research. Barely <laughs> we have to wait for each individual asteroid chunk. I'm going to try to get every single thing here. I get more asteroid collectors on the other side. That will speed things up. Here we go. Space platform thruster finished. And we need a thousand space science packs to research one of the planets. Let's try getting Leba. This seems interesting. To start research. Okay, let's see if this will work. But now it's coming in quite nicely. Though I want a bigger space platform. And space thrusters. Consumes thruster fuel. Thruster oxidizer. Thruster fuel carbon water. Thrust oxidizer. Water iron ore. Ice melting. Oh, I'll have to automate all of this. Some more space. Now we have asteroid collectors on each and every corner. 29% done with planet discovery Gleba. We have 11 minutes left. Honestly, not too shabby. It's so satisfying though, seeing these great grapplers hook on to items and pull them back. 59% done. Six minutes left. I'll have to automate those rocket thrusters. That will be very advanced. We're actually running low on oil now. We do have a lot of oil over here next to the other crude oil pickup. I think we'll just hook that up real quick. Two thrusters will launch into space. Also need chemical plants. If I place down thrusters here then how will this work? Must be built on the south edge of space platform. First I need to melt up ice into water here in space. I will need to transfer pipes up here. There we go. Planet discovery Gleba finished. So how do we do this then? Gleba, Gleba. Space map. Gleba. I would like to go here, please. Maybe I need to send a space platform there. Add station. Gleba. Here we go. I can also see the electric network here in space. Of course, the assembling machines use up almost all of it. Here we go. It's working. We got this. What is it called? Thruster oxidizer. I just need the thruster fuel. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect, it's all coming up. Just need some more ice. So let's see here. Ice comes in. Ice cubes get melted into water. Thruster oxidizer and the other thing. Thruster fuel. As you can see there, it is pumping up now. It's filling up. So can we launch now then? Gleba. I guess I should go on to the thing then. But as I said, I need more oil. More biters attacking. Ah, oh, they're going to die. Let's see space now. The thrusters are fully fueled. I want to make sure we have good defenses before we go to Gleba I don't want to be stuck there and, you know, have to watch the whole base here get destroyed. More biters attacking. Where? Let's see here. Over here. What? I want a big wall, that's for sure. My research... 
All these spiders have to die. Here we go. Oil number two. Number three, actually. Who knew this is such a valuable resource? Anyways, hook this all up. And we're good to go. Here we go. Get some productivity modules. More biters? Where? What? Ah, oh, they're expanding everywhere. Anyways, get this going right now. These damn biters. They're destroying everything. Just kill them all, please. Here we go. They are the most annoying thing in the game. My damn train. Anyways, oil should be working. Yes, here we go, finally. More biters. They're everywhere. I need to take care of this nest. I need to focus on that wall straight away. We need to build the wall. So much oil coming in. I know something is messed up. This wasn't pumping oil. But even more coming in. Got a bunch of solar panels, so we should get some solar power. So then, this is the solar panels perfect ratio from SVSV. Let's see. I want one right over here. Look at the swarm, the horde. There are so many cliffs everywhere, and we cannot make cliff explosives. That's the problem. But more solar panels up here as well. I want to ultimate laser turrets as well. This should be a good setup for laser turrets. There we go, solar panels. You can see the power there. Only that is 10.8 megawatts. I only need eight more of these and it's better than the steam engines. More biters? Where? Where are they coming from? More solar panels. I want four of these. Look at that. I already have all the solar panels. Let's see power production then. 3.8 gigajoules of power charge. And more biters up north. Where do we build this wall now? We have all the resources. We have this section here. I think I want the stone and copper. The east I've done a little bit, but that's not really permanent. And the western section isn't too bad, but the northern one we need. I'm also going to start fueling our trains with rocket fuel. That will be useful. Let's make this a passive provider chest to make some requester chests. How's this space station doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's doing quite all right. Now, iron is the bottleneck. That is interesting. Oh, wait. No, we have a lot of... Of it. Okay, it was backing up. Rocket fuel, perfect. But anyways, it has been 200 days through Infactorial Space Age. So we're working on the wall right here, northern side. Biters, just a medium spitter right there. But yeah, we need to continue working on that. Take that thing out. And yeah, venture into Gleba. The space platform is doing all right. Nothing major going on here. But other than that, continue on this, as I said, and then go to Gleba. So let's see. But anyways, thanks for watching. And if you're bored, then watch this video next.